welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway, the improvisation show which regularly sees more excitement than Bill Clinton's trousers backstage at a Spice Girls concert. And we do have a pretty American lineup tonight, starring the sexiest thing in spectacle since Ronnie Corbett, our own scary spice, Greg Proops. And our sexiest new import uh, from the groundlings on Los Angeles, Karen Maruyama. And the sexiest Scots Canadian comedian living in America on the program tonight, our own ginger spice, Colin Mockery. And finally, a great actor, tremendous comedian, and enormous waste of spice. Ryan Stiles. <laughs> okay, now then. All right, but, uh, we're gonna move on. We're going to start with a game called Superheroes. This is for all four contestants. We're going to start there with Greg. He's going to come down. He'll be a superhero. We'll decide what sort of superhero he'll be and what problem he's going to solve. The other three, in the order of Ryan, Colin, and Karen, will come in. He'll decide who the next person will be, as far as superhero is concerned, and they the next person. Okay, so what sort of superhero do you see Greg as? <laughs> Sorry. Mr. Muscle, that's not bad. Can we combine that with a bit of sort of humour as well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any more? Zimmer Sorry? Zimmer Frame Man. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's Mr. Muscle and Mr. Zimmer Man rolled into one. And what is the problem he's solving? Painful nipple erections. <laughs> That can't painful, be right. painful nipple erections may be your problem, but it's scarcely, <laughs> it's scarcely a worldwide problem, is it? I'll see you afterwards. I can see you from here, but uh, I wonder who's dodging me in the back from time to time. Now, any other? More of a worldwide problem. Perishing elastic. Perishing elastics, very good. What was it? Perishing elastic. Elastic is a substance we have over here that stretches and, <laughs> and it perishes and things fall down and things go wrong. So Where's you are... it going to stop, huh, the aggression? <laughs> when you give us our colonies back. Now, the, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, um, um, so you're, you're Mr. Muscle, Mr. Zimmerman. Your colonies. And it's, and it's perishing, <laughs> perishing Frames elastic. colonies. <laughs> we call Zimmer Frames walkers for our American friends. Oh, do you? Yeah. All right. They're, Just crisp, they're crisps over here, so we'll think you're... <laughs> <laughs> And you're, just, uh, and you're uh, just one uh, letter away from what we call you. So let's uh, do it with Mr. Muscle, Mr. Zimmer, Mr. Walkerman. Well, I'd better come out of my super... <laughs> my God, my strength is so enormous, I always crush this Zimmer frame. Here, I'll throw it toward the prat with the bald head. <laughs> I'll turn on my world crisis monitor. My God! All the elastic in the world is perishing. Why, everyone will have to be stuck in one place with no waistbands. I hope my super friends come here soon. Sorry I'm late. I was bungee jumping and got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you've come, seductive eating man. Banana? <laughs> no time for that now. <clears throat> All the elastic in the world is perishing, and all my muscular Zimmer friends can't oh help Oh, my it. God. Sorry I'm late, but I wasn't on time. Thank God you're here. <laughs> Thank God you're here, incoherent boy. Monkey Luke! Pour <laughs> la la money! Don't make me crush you with my bare hands. Look, all the elastic's perishing, incoherent boy. Honey, fuka money! <laughs> Honey, fuka money! Sorry I'm late, I had a painful nipple erection. <laughs> Honey, moon, no, no. Shampoo commercial girl! <laughs> Yes, we do. All the elastics perishing, shampoo commercial girl. My oh, God, God, your hair is shiny. Thank you. That's a nice head of protein you've got there. I know. I have a friend who owns a rubber tree plant. I'll go get him. Perfect. That'll solve the problem. Run along. <laughs> What's up? What? It's, it's time for you to go now. Or as you would say, bling bling. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you're not done with that banana. Yeah. I gotta go, I gotta go buy some kiwi fruit. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God, there's another mission accomplished and all the elastic is back. See you next time with all my super friends. Well done. Okay, excellent. Let's be crack along. You know, oh, dear. <laughs> and that's...
23 million and 23 points for that particular game. Very, very good. As we go on to Let's Make a Date, this is for all four contestants, but chiefly Greg, who's going to be over there sitting on his stool, trying to pick out somebody to go on a date with. The other three are the possible dates for him, but to each of them has been allocated a strange character, uh, which they can discover by reading the envelope on their stool. I've picked it up first, obviously, makes it easier for reading. Uh, so they, and Greg's got to work out who they are in the course of also deciding who to go out on a date with. And uh, this could be a lot of fun, or it could just provide Greg with a social life at last. <laughs> so, <laughs> away you go, Greg. <laughs> Contestant number one. Hi. Hi, I hear. <laughs> Good, I hear. Are we going to talk that way? Hi, uh, yeah. Well, I'm not from here. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, all right, but okay. I love you hard and long. <laughs> Well, that answers my first question. <laughs> Contestant number two. <laughs> Contestant number two. Yeah. Um, hi. Hi, don't shout. There's a breeze coming from your mouth. <laughs> I like tumbleweeds. What plants do you like? Tumbleweeds? Anything but cactus. <laughs> All right. Contestant number three. If we were going to gonna go out on a date, and if we were going to say gonna right, um, <laughs> do you believe in sleeping together on the first date? Not without a bag over your head. <laughs> Contestant number one. Yeah, I hear. I heart. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, you sound nice. Yeah, you do too. You sound very friendly and accommodating. Uh-huh, for five dollars, I treat you real <laughs> I like shopping. If we were going to go out on a date, where would you take me shopping? Uh, I would take you to a sporting goods store and buy some ping pong balls and keep you up all night. <laughs> Contestant number two. Are these seats vinyl? <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number three. I love boxing. Do you? Uh, it's obvious you do. <laughs> I'd be curious to know if you've ever won a fight. <laughs> Come on, Greg, you're gonna guess now. Who, who are they? What are they? Oh, I'm gonna guess. Yes, you are. And it'll be guessing. Where are you going? Here we go. Okay. Uh, contestant number one is a, a, a girl of the, the evening who works in yes, some sort of right. yeah, yeah, yeah. capacity. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. in a geisha capacity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to be ginger. Yes, no uh, need to be. <laughs> or any Spice Girl, for yeah. that matter. Uh, and contestant number two is an Eskimo of some kind. He's, he's freezing. <laughs> Not even close, I'm afraid. He's, yeah. he's a, he's a first-time nudist, but I mean, Eskimo is, is about as... <laughs> and your third one, then? Is just a big jerk, is what he is. Yeah. He's, he's but insulting. who is he pretending to be? He's demeaning, he's pretending... <laughs> A really rude guy. Really, really, well, he, he thinks you're the ugliest woman in the world. So, oh, of course one out of three. Does. Well done, Greg. So, that's a good. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I, I think you did as well as you could do with that, actually, Grace. I'll give you one point, and all the others, uh, 59. As we go on to the world's worst, it's for all co four contestants, and they're going to come down and step forward from the world's worst step as they come up with examples of the world's worst chat-up line, or pick-up line, as you might call it. Hi there. You know, I've uh, got cable. <laughs> you don't sweat much for a fat chick. These implants are biodegradable. <laughs> you know, I have wooden legs and I know how to get rid of splinters. <laughs> I'm looking for a man who can give me a green car. <laughs> well, when I was a woman, I used to go for guys like me. <laughs> Sure, I like to have sex, but it's hard to find four or five hours during the day. <laughs> That's a good line. <laughs> Want to hear a hoedown? <laughs> a 
my name's Gary, but my friends call me Tony the Pony. You look just like my dad. <laughs> so, you're the Duchess of York. You want to go to an all-you-can-eat place? You know, I can make love in over one position. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Water work on the place. Let me stick around. We are taking a break. See off that back. Uh, well, welcome. Well, welcome back from the break. Good to see you. People don't usually bother. As we go into a game called Dead Bodies. Now, this is a lot of fun. Uh, usually, now, Ryan and Karen, they're actors in a play, and unfortunately, they have died. Uh, not just in the way you might expect, but in actual fact, they are dead on stage. Colin is performing with them, and he's going to determinedly carry on. Uh, and uh, Greg will be joining in due course, but uh, mysteriously enough, he's going to die just as he arrives as well. This is not going to put uh, Colin off as he acts out a scene, and it's a boyfriend and a girlfriend on a beach when a muscular rival comes along. So that's what you've got to keep going in this particular production where everyone else is dead. I love when you yodel to me on the beach. Say, why don't you put some suntan lotion on me? All right. <laughs> You'll have to come a little closer. <laughs> come closer to my hand. <laughs> oh. How's that? <laughs> That's fine. Oh, I can't I imagine never being this happy. Oh, kiss hey, me. What the heck is. <laughs> hey, you skinny guy. Kick, kick. <laughs> It's the beach bully. Stand up for me. Actually, I think I'll just sit for a while. <laughs> hey, I like that girl. I'm gonna take her. You gonna try and stop me, you big skinny goof? <laughs> Don't take that guff on him. Fight him. Fight him. Use that kung fu you know so well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm gonna jump up to a height of six feet, go completely horizontal, and then kick you into yesterday, mister. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, thank you. Well done. Yes. All right. Well, that's certainly the uh, best example of dead acting since the last episode of Neighbours, as we give uh, <laughs> 199 points to Colin there for carrying on. The others are too dead to care. As we go on to Mission Impossible, this is for Colin, Ryan and Greg. If you'd like to come forward, Colin and Ryan will be uh, acting out the scene, and Greg will be voice, the voice on the tape, which always started the uh, beginning of Mission Impossible. But our Mission Impossible is to do something uh, uh, fairly straightforward. So can somebody suggest something fairly straightforward? Because these aren't... Catching caterpillars. Hairy caterpillars. Oh, so hairy caterpillars. <laughs> You're not getting at me again, are you? But uh, anyway, my caterpillar is perfectly hairy, thank you. Now we'll do. So you're catching hairy caterpillars in a Mission Impossible way, and at some point the music comes in, but probably not yet. I don't know. Oh, I just remembered we have a cassette. This has been your last mission. Let's make it a good one. Oh, it's solar powered. Good morning, Mr. Mockery. Good morning, Styles. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Welcome to your last mission, Styles. How did you know? I don't know. I know everything. <gasps> A little birdie told me. Anyway, gentlemen, you have an intense mission here today, fraught with danger and rife with adventure. The Caliph of Snakistan has lost his insect collection. He needs a hairy caterpillar to fill it out. It's impossible! Yes, of course it's impossible. That's why we've hired you. 
to do the impossible. <laughs> if he doesn't get a hairy caterpillar, there'll be a huge international incident. I can't tell you why, because it makes no sense. All right, get out there. Find a hairy caterpillar whenever you can. This mission will self-destruct before this tape makes sense. <laughs> Boom! Look, I just want you to know, if I don't make it back, I want you to have my thong. <laughs> All right. I can't remember where they live, whether they're in trees or bushes. I, my God, look! The hairy caterpillar farm! <laughs> Do you think? I hope there's not admission I'm broke. <laughs> Look how big that wall is. We'll never get over it. Look, we gotta find a way. I got no tools left on me. Wait, hang on to my back. I have my collapsible pull vault. <laughs> okay, we need something to put the caterpillar in. We can put them in our pockets all one by one and jam them in there. Wait. I have a better idea. What? Well, put it on my head, make it look like hair. <laughs> look, there's the big white nest up there. That's the mother of all caterpillars, the big one looking at us. You better go get it. Yeah, why me? It's your last mission. If you die, who cares? Go! Right. <laughs> Got it. Whoa! Put it on my head! Look, look at me. Oh, good, good. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. You want it to the side again? I love it to the side. That's nice. Wait a minute. This caterpillar's not hairy. It's a decoy caterpillar. What? It must be loaded with. Oh, it didn't explode. He must have just had a watch on. Oh. Look there. There they are, the hairy caterpillars. I'll do the hairy caterpillar mating dance. <laughs> And tie some out of the trees. I don't know it, but I'll follow you. All right. <laughs> Here they come. Let them follow us back. Okay, thank you. That's it. Ah, dear. Colin, Colin is superlative there. I'll give you 199 points. And you know what? I'm going to put you in the next game as well. As we move on to uh, Party Quirks. This is a game for all four contestants, mainly Greg, who's going to be the host of the party. All the others are guests of the party. And in front of them, there's envelopes, and they're discovering what strange quirk or way of behaving they've been allocated. These are based on suggestions made by the studio. I'll be bringing the guests in by making little doorbell noises to indicate when they're coming in. They come in the order of Karen, Colin, and Ryan. If I keep speaking, there won't be time to play the game. But so away you go, Greg. The party's underway. I hate take it. Yes, it is. It's a come as Colin doing a dinosaur party. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope he's not doing that, because that's... Yeah. Colin is very good at doing dinosaurs. Better than, say, you. So... <laughs> You know, I could sit in the chair and smart off, and you could get your butt up here and work. You gotta get a better agent. <laughs> oh, I can hold this door closed as long as you have kids. What, what, but are you, I won't. what are you hoping to do? Wear my finger out? I've got long years of practice with that finger. And so <laughs> Really good, Karen. All right, great. Come on in. Hey, you're looking good. You're looking good, but you're a little flabby there. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot. Hey, you want some cheese? I don't know. A lot of fat in there. I brought you something. Okay. Really work on that midsection. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Hey, how much time would it take on that thing to see results? <laughs> <laughs> I knew. I hit me. Hit me. Hit, hit you. Right there. See? <laughs> you're very firm. Yeah. That's good. I like firm guests. The flabby ones. Over here, you can use a later. Yeah, the flabby ones just lay there. Hi, Colin. How are you? Come on in. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Give me some drugs. Give me some drugs. <laughs> you want drugs? We well, we don't have any drugs, but we've got some. Ah! 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 Put it back in. Put it back in. <laughs> Karen, look, your date's here. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Hey, Greg, how are you? Good, how... <laughs> well, this is great. Are we going someplace? Are we going to... You're not leaving, are you? No. Tell me if you leave. No, no, no. Oh, this no, is great. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Okay, okay. Listen, hey, 
Uh, look, look. <laughs> this is. <laughs> hey, guys, in the back. Or should I come up front? Or should I go back here? Or should I come in front again? Or should I go back here? All right. Okay, look, uh, what, what are you this has been a great party. Uh, uh, you're. You're a, a weightlifting, bodybuilding abdominizer. Yeah, yeah, uh, she's a person who sells muscle yeah. machines. Right. And you, dude, are a stone freak. Here, boy. Here, boy. Here, boy. Here, boy. Fetch, fetch, fetch. Yeah, he's a dog in a car. Hey, well, well, yeah. Just one oh, last kiss. Well, well, Would you like some... 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got... I shouldn't be seeing this. I shouldn't be seeing this. <laughs> Anesthetic, because you've just woken yeah, up from surgery. Yeah, you got that. Oh, we. I. I was beginning to worry about Greg there, but then I always do. But I'll give him a million and one points there for uh, guessing those so brilliantly. Keep him quiet. As we go on to a game called Hoedown, this is for all four of our contestants to make up a song in the form of a hoedown with the assistance of our Mr. Music, Richard Vranch. Uh, good to see you, Richard. And uh, what are they going to be making this hoedown about? Um, th thing, well, reasons to cry. Can you think of a reason to cry? And we'll make giving up a... birth! Giving birth. <laughs> You've you got a long memory, obviously. Uh, so <laughs> let's go... <laughs> go ahead then with the, uh, the giving birth hoedown, starting with you, Greg, okay. and all the way down the line. nine months pregnant I tell you that it hurts every year I pop out a couple of little squirts but when I go into the room to have those little drugs oh <laughs> you know failing is one of the major parts of television uh, if we may I'll pick it up I'm a little baby, I live inside my mummy In a couple months time, I'll come out of her tummy When I'm grown, I will run around on rugs But so she doesn't cry, I hope she takes a lot of drugs should be given to men cause when I had mine I killed my OBGYN Hey, having a baby it makes me wanna beg cause nothing's more painful than seeing that thing drop through your leg There's nothing more beautiful in this great big earth than watching a wife giving birth just seeing it me with ecstasy. The thing I liked best was, thank God it wasn't me. Watching a baby come out can be really neat. I pull up a chair and I sit right down at her feet. They've called the police on me, so I'm heading out the door. Apparently because it, she's never seen me before. Okay, that brings us to uh, a stunning climax as I total up the points. So I see we have joint winners this week, Greg, Ryan and Karen. So well done, Greg, Ryan and Karen. <laughs> the, uh, and the prize for, um, for winning is to read the credits of the style of my choosing. Can you do it the style of uh, three people looking back at their school yearbook? Okay, just uh, amazes me to thank Greg Proops, Karen Maruyama, Colin Mockery, Ryan Stiles, and Richard Francis Piano. It's me, Clive Anderson, saying good night. Good night. Oh. 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 Mark Lexon. Remember him? He used uh. to run the chess club. No one liked him. No though. one ever told Oh, him. Richard Osborne oh, was my best yeah. friend when I was a girl. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> Anybody's after two uh, beers. Right. Oh. Rebecca Allen was easy under the bleachers. She totally was. Oh, yeah. Rose Phillips burnt down the entire school. Remember that? We had to sit out and empty lot all the time. Yeah. Remember Mike Beale? He was the idiot son of the principal. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Dick Addison, I shagged him under the bleachers. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.